Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Right here, I've got the Stokely Nella 96 women's skis. Uh, love the Nella and Storm Rider lines from Stokely. I just think they have a really nice blend of feeling stable and damp, but also versatile. The Nella 96 is the widest ski in the women's line. Uh, really, really good mix of firm and soft snow performance and pretty crazy lightweight for a ski with two sheets of metal. Uh, super light wood core in these skis, so the lightest core that Stokely uses in any of their skis, but we still get two sheets of Titanal metal. Uh, one of those sheets of metal is the actual top sheet as well, which is an important construction element in Stokely's skis, specifically the Storm Rider and Nella skis, as it allows them to reduce the overall weight uh, while still using two sheets of metal. Essentially, they're eliminating an entire entire extra sheet of polyurethane top sheet material. Um, so pretty darn cool. Uh, Stokely's construction in general is a little bit more refined than some manufacturers. So some of the features that are a result of that are a thinner fiberglass layer. Um, that, again, is kind of helping to reduce overall weight. They also use this really cool rubber dust in pretty much all of their skis. They apply it to all the elements before it's pressed together. This gives the ski a very, very damp, smooth feel in addition to those two sheets of metal. So you really get a very supple feeling ski. Um, these skis are designed to have a softer flex pattern than the Storm Rider skis. Um, I would say that the Nella is still, you know, it, it's not... It's not a tremendously soft ski. There are certainly softer skis out there. It is a pretty supple flex pattern, but what's nice is you get a lot of rebound, a lot of energy out of it. Um, not too much energy. Again, Stokely's just really good at, at constructing well-rounded skis, really good mix of power and stability. Uh, and that's pretty much a perfect description of the Nella 96. So on trail, you know, you, you get quite a bit of camber in this ski. Um, basically right there where my left hand is, is where the, the camber starts in the tail. And then tip rocker starts about where my right hand is. So mostly camber in this ski. Um, so on trail, you get a strong feel. Uh, you get a nice amount of edge grip. You get really, really good carving performance. The ski, in my opinion, is just very rewarding to link carving turns on and what's cool about it is you can do it through pretty much any snow conditions maybe like really deep powder would be the only exception to that but you know later in the day when the trails get kind of chunked up or if you get a little bit of fresh snow overnight Nella 96 is going to handle that really nicely uh, and then say maybe later in the day you want to jump off trail get into some trees into some moguls although it doesn't have much rocker the lighter weight feel and the slightly softer flex pattern gives it a more agile feel than I think most people would expect. Um, I've seen some, I guess, albeit really good skiers on these skis, <clears throat> but I don't necessarily think it requires a really good skier. Um, and I've seen those skiers kind of take it into technical terrain and, and do really, really well on them. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for an intermediate, but I think an upper level intermediate, at least an athletic level, an athletic intermediate skier could ski these. And then obviously all the way up to an expert level skier would, would really enjoy the mix of firm snow carving performance and then the ability, its capabilities and ability when you take it off trail. Um, so that's the Nella 96 from Stokely. God, every time I pick it up, I'm just blown away by how light it is. Uh, it, it's easy to forget that there's two sheets of metal in here. Um, so Nella 96 from Stokely, certainly let us know if you have any questions about it and we will see you out there on the slopes.